Governor Glenn Youngkin signed several bills in Roanoke today. He was at Round Hill Elementary School. He has until midnight to sign, amend, or veto hundreds more. WFXR's Amanda Lee was there for that signing today. She joins us now live from the newsroom. Amanda, did the kids get to be a part of everything? Yes, Kathleen, they did. The governor signed some key pieces of legislation having to do with education and developmental disabilities and the people who they're going to impact in the future were there to get a close up look as he signed them. My pleasure. Elementary school students learned about their government today from the governor himself as he signed five bills into law. Three of them are geared towards special education. It is vital that people with disabilities have equal access to technology and related supports that allow them to be more included in all spec aspects of life in their communities. The governor signed House Bill 1963 and Senate Bill 945 patroned by Senator David Sutterline. It'll allow the Department of Medical Assistance Services to help some individuals with developmental disabilities pay for technology that can make their lives easier. I've made a pledge to reducing the entire tier one waiver list by the time we're done at the end of my four year term. So I want to make a big step of that this time. So I need a budget to do that. He signed another Senate bill by Sutterline in partnership with the Roanoke City School Board that aims to improve the access of paid work-based learning experiences for students who are learning English as a second language. That will help make sure that our English learners is get more tools so that they can have the best careers going forward. Lastly, the governor signed a House bill and Senate bill requiring each public high school in the Commonwealth to use its website to publicly identify faculty members who teach special education. It gives families the resources for their children who who have developmental disabilities to access all kinds of great support systems. The bills that were passed will take into effect on July 1st and the General Assembly will reconvene in Richmond on April 12th to vote on the governor's uh, vetoes and amendments to bills. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amanda Lee, WFXR News. Amanda, thank you. Governor Youngkin reiterating that he is continuing to ask for leadership in the Senate Finance Committee and House Appropriations Committee to send him a budget to further invest in these new laws as well as others.